Mrs. Coco, although plants and animals are both living things, they are so different. Plants are things like grass, flowers and trees, while animals are things like elephants, ants and humans. I wonder if plants and animals are also different at the cellular level. Although animal and plant cells share many similarities, they also have important differences. Shall we take a look at these differences? How do we do that? Aren't cells too small to be seen with our eyes? You are right, Spikey, which is why we will use a microscope. Both animal and plant cells are surrounded by a thin layer called the plasma membrane, which is also known as a cell membrane. This membrane is very thin and it's semi permeable. Being semi permeable means that it allows only some substances to pass through. The plant cell, however, is further surrounded by a thick, rigid membrane called the cell wall. The cell wall gives support and structure to the cell. It binds with the neighboring cell walls to make the structure of a plant. The cell wall is made up of cellulose. Animal cells do not have cell walls. I think the cell wall is one of the most important differences between animal and plant cells. Yes, Spikey. What is that fluid in the center of the cell? This jelly-like fluid that fills the cell is cytoplasm. It is usually colorless. What are those tiny things in the cytoplasm? Good observation. These tiny things are called organelles. An organelle is a tiny cellular structure that performs specific functions within a cell. The major organelles of a cell are the nucleus, vacuole, mitochondria, centrioles, chloroplast, and Golgi apparatus. Let us look at them one by one. This is the nucleus. A nucleus is the control center of the cell and acts much like the brain of your body. It is surrounded by a nuclear membrane and has a nucleolus. The nucleolus helps to make ribosomes and thread-like structures called chromosomes. Ribosomes make proteins, while chromosomes carry the genes that control the organism's characteristics. Next, let's talk about vacuoles. In a plant cell, the vacuole is a large structure that occupies most of the cell. It contains a solution of sugar and water called cell sap. However, in an animal cell, the vacuoles look like air bubbles. They store the nutrients for the cell and waste products. Oh, so the size of the vacuoles is another important difference between animal and plant cells. Very good, Spikey. Keep track. What are these sausages in the cell for? These sausage-shaped organelles are mitochondria. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell because they provide energy to the cell. Its outer surface is smooth while the inner membrane has folds. Look, mitochondria are present in both the cells. Then we have the endoplasmic reticulum or ER for short. It's a cellular network that takes molecules where they need to go within the cell. They contain tiny balls of ribosomes that work like tiny factories. Ribosomes make proteins, and the ER transports proteins to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is the post office of the cell. It takes materials like protein in the cell, inspects them, and packages them for transportation out of the cell. What are those green beans in the plant cell? Those are chloroplasts. 
Chloroplasts are found only in plant cells and contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll absorbs light energy and allows photosynthesis to take place. Ah, so chloroplast is another big difference between animal and plant cells. What about the sticks inside the animal cell? These are centrioles. Centrioles are cylindrical organelles near the nucleus. They are involved in the development of spindle fibers during cell division. You'll only find them in an animal cell. That is amazing! No wonder animals and plants are so different. Let's do a short exercise. Is this an animal or a plant cell? How many parts of the cell can you identify? This is a plant cell because it has a cell wall and a large central vacuole. Cell wall, cell membrane, vacuole, nucleus, chloroplasts, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi bodies are important cell organelles. Time to summarize. Animal and plant cells have many similarities and differences. Both animal and plant cells have a cell membrane, cytoplasm, mitochondria, nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi bodies. However, a plant cell has a large vacuole, whereas an animal cell has numerous small vacuoles in the cytoplasm. A cell wall and chloroplasts are only present in a plant cell whereas centrioles are only found in an animal cell.